pass common sense legislation to ensure that drilling companies are held to the highest possible environmental standards. I mean, you know, it's just a simple thing. What's more important in life than water? All of this is so critically important. You have to have water to be able to drink, and the water that you drink has got to be pure and safe and secure. You can't have water in your well, for example, in your private home well, or in your general, general well system that is contaminated, that's full of chemicals, that is no longer safe and secure. All of these things are so obvious, and so, so much of this has got to be done. I mean, that whole exemption of that law back in 2005 was, was terribly abusive. A lot of us argued against it, voted against it, but nevertheless it passed overwhelmingly in 2005. It must have passed in the context of a lot of ignorance and misunderstanding. But nevertheless, that's the situation that we have to deal with today. They came in, they said it was all sweetness and light. Everything was going to be fine. We were going to make a lot of money. There was no environmental damage. I investigated by going to a neighboring town and then by going across the United States. I found every single drilling area that I went to was contaminated. The water was contaminated. Uh, and in the film, you see extreme examples of water contamination where people can light their water on fire right out of the tap. I found air pollution that was a hazard to residents living in all these areas. I found a public health crisis. Essentially, what I found was that when I went to these places called Gasland, I was no longer living in the United States of America. People who live in Gasland are not afforded those kinds of protections. They don't have access to the democratic processes that we have, that we would like to have in the Father, United States. I wanted to know what this was about. I heard that it was, it was poisoning people's wells. And as a father, I don't want my kids to be poisoned. So I headed directly to the nearest place that I knew they were doing this, which was Dimmick, PA. Now these people can't use their water out of their tap. They can't bathe with it, they can't drink from it, they can't cook with it. And the gas companies who are willing to bring them potable water in giant plastic containers once a week refuse to take responsibility for it. And so these people are trapped.